Logic fans, Football Logic here. As you can see, I'm not in my lovely home. I am actually in Cleveland, Ohio. So if you are from Cleveland or a Cleveland Browns fan, hey, I am here. So I want to talk about football helmets and safety. So recently, an NFL player has been admitted into the hospital due to uh, a situation, um, which may be uh, leading to CTE or brain injury. So I definitely want to make this video. I don't have any props. Don't have any of my helmets with me to show you. So. Um, I've actually been meaning to make a video, but a lot going on gearing up for holidays at work. Um, and so we'll get on to it. <laughs> so um, I've gotten a lot of messages, got some comments about some of the helmets that I've used, so it actually was actually works out perfectly. Um, so there are two sites I actually do recommend if you are a player or you are becoming a player or if you are a parent of a player to look at. So one site is the Legacy, or not Legacy, but it is a, the Virginia Tech Helmet Program. Um, I will put the link in the description for the newer ratings, um, but you can actually look at the new football helmet ratings as well as the older legacy is what they're calling it, football helmet ratings, and what they look like now. And then the helmet laboratory testing performance site by the NFLPA, um, which is the National Football League Player Association. So both of these lists combined are going to show you as a player, as a parent, excuse me, or a new player, what you should buy, or you should buy your kid. Um, and explain to you it really show the safety right so i used to wear a vsr4 which is now actually in the 2019 2018 football season and going to finally be banned it actually should have probably been banned a long long time ago players like adrian peterson tom brady um, philip rivers these players still use them um, pierre Garçon, i think is one of them now so still use them so we want to they want to face those players away and actually make them use a newer helmet safer helmets um, Rawlings, very, very, very well-named brand in baseball, now is is out of the NFL. And these brands, these Rawlings helmets from the 2019, or yeah, 2018, 2019 football season are banned. So players cannot use them. Eric Weddle uh, was one of them. He wore a Impulse, I want to say, and a um, uh, Josh Norman wore Tachyon. So these players have to. I think Melvin Ingram was one of them too. They have to make their made their transition already. So like Air XPs, uh, F7s, Revo Speeds, things like this. Um, and even now the Revo Speeds have been around for a while, so we may actually see that start to phase out. So prime example is, whoop, I actually have both sites up next to me. So I used to wear a VSR4, right? So on a scale of the Virginia Tech scale, being zero stars, being not optimal, do not wear, to five being the best, it rates at a one star. Um, so one star being bad. I I only wore that for a year, and then I wore a, a youth helmet, which I do not recommend at all, zero recommendations for a, a varsity style player as myself, or as, as you may be watching, to wear a youth helmet. The reason being, changes from youth to, to the varsity style helmets um, are small but big at the same time it may be the shell it's going to be the padding and, and the fitting of the helmet all in one um, you will find some youth helmets be that borderline to be the varsity helmets where all the padding is air cushion is is tpu technology but isn't but it's not made for the car crash style as um varsity helmets are so if you are a varsity player wearing youth get out of that youth helmet like i did um I only did it because it was either continue to use the VSR4, which is going to one star rating, very bad. Um, I knew it was unsafe, or get myself into a newer helmet. And that's what I did. I got myself into a newer helmet that fit properly, though it was a, a youth helmet. It, it fit fit the way I, it was comfortable. And fitting is is just as important as the technology it's, that's made out of. If it's a loose helmet, it's going to have a lot of play and give, so you can hurt yourself more than. If it was a tight helmet, but with a tight helmet, there is no give. There is not enough play. So that just right helmet, you need to find. Um, go to Red if you live near the Riddell or, or Zenith or any of these actual um, uh, vendors, go see them. Have them fit you. As well as if you live near a local college, go see if you can set up a meeting with the uh, equipment manager for your football team or for the football team to get your helmet size size. Um, when it comes to pricing of helmets, don't let the price scare you to get a good helmet. Get out of there. Buy, spend nine hundred thousand dollars on a helmet because it's your brain we're talking about. Your neck. Your, you know, if you sprain your neck to 
to fracture a vertebrae because you're wearing an old helmet, that's something that's, that's harder to walk away from. Yes, wearing a helmet is not going to save you 100%. It's just a preventative measure, just like airbags, um, just like you know any other preventative measure that we take out there. I can't think of one right now. It's real early in the morning to, to help protect yourself, right? So I'm going to read off the list of helmets that are prohibited from the NFL. Um, some of them are actually newer helmets. So the SG Varsity, Rawlings Quantium, Shots of Engine C10, which is the early model, the Rawlings Impulse Plus, Rawlings Tachyon, the original Shots Air XP Pro, the Riddell VSR4, as I was talking about earlier, the SG 2.0, Rawlings Impulse, and Shuts Air XP, the original model. So Shuts and Riddell are going around and making updated models. Of course, with Air XP Pro, you have the um, Q10 and the Shuts Vengeance uh, Z10, a newer model. Rawlings is out. We don't use those anymore. SG is the only confusing one for me because it's a newer helmet helmet brand, especially the 2.0. It's just, I think it's what it's made out of is what's scaring the NFL. Um, believe it or not, the original, uh, where is it? The original Revolution, like the Dural Revis style Revolution is still being made. Uh, you can still use those. They are extremely hard to find. I'm actually in the market to find one right now, not to play in, uh, but to actually, you know, practice in, to uh, use and actually to put on my shelf. I'm going to make a helmet shelf and I use those. Um, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, please reach out to me. I am willing to talk to you guys. Uh, again, the Virginia Tech and the NFL Lab is going to be linked in the description as well as my Instagram. This has been a great time. Um, it's just a very simple video, I know, but I'm hoping it helps out. I know I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it, but it's just a quick spur of the moment while I was scrolling through Facebook. So you guys take care. Take care of yourselves. And have fun.